Okay, the question is saying a substance at a temperature theta degrees expands when heated. When the same material at zero theta degrees is cooled, it also expands. Now, question A, identify the substance. Question B, what is the temperature theta? Question C, identify the phenomenon. D, give application of the phenomenon in real life. Then question E is asking, give one disadvantage of this phenomenon. Now, from the statement, if a substance is at original temperature of theta degrees, then we heat it, then it expands. That means that the volume of that substance is increasing because when you expand a material, it increases in the space occupied. The same thing, when the substance is cooled from original temperature of zero degrees and it expands, that also means the volume increases when it is also cooled and it expands also volume increases. Now, if you ask to identify this substance, this substance is water. Water. The reason why we say it's water is because water has got a property called anomalous expansion, whereby it expands in the forward direction when heated from 4 degrees to towards 10 degrees. Water also expands when it is cooled from 4 degrees towards 0 degrees. This means that warm water at 4 degrees has got very low volume before it expands. And that means it has got a very high density. Water at 0 degrees and towards 10 degrees has got very high volume after expansion, meaning it has got very low density. Now, if I say the substance is water, I should also be able to say the value of this temperature theta. Normally, with reference to water, theta is always 4 degrees. If I can represent this graphically, I would draw the graph of volume of water against temperature, like this. On my x-axis, I have temperature in degrees Celsius. Remember, in drawing any graph, you must label your axis in SI units. Now, in my y-axis, I'm going to have volume in cubic meter. Now, if I have a temperature of 4 degrees and I have a temperature of 0, remember this is the ice point. And then I have a higher temperature towards 10. Now, when I say the, vol the, the volume of water at 4 degrees is low, and at 0 and 10, it is a bit high, such that the graph will look like this. Now, this graph tells us that water at 4 degrees has a very low volume, but high density. That's why water, warm water is always able to sink in the bottom of the pond, lake, or seas. But water at 0 degrees and water at 10 degrees has got very high volume. Remember, this value is higher than this value. Now, I can represent this statement in terms of a diagram like this. But now, the question was asking theta. So, theta is this temperature here, 4 degrees Celsius. This is the original temperature past which the water begins to expand in both directions. Now, when you are also asked, identify the phenomenon. This phenomenon is called, if this is part B, this phenomenon is called anomalous expansion of water. Anomalous expansion of water. When we call it anomalous, from the word abnormal. Now, the word anomalous means water expands when cooled instead of contracting. Remember, from 4 degrees towards 0, this one is cooling. We expect any material to contract when cooled. But water, when cooled from 4 degrees to 0 degrees, instead of cooling, 
instead of contracting, it expands. That is why we call it anomalous expansion. It expands instead of cooling. Now, give one application of anomalous expansion of water in real life. This property of water is useful to aquatic life. Remember, in very cold areas, sometimes the water gets covered with ice. This means that the water below the pond is warm at 4 degrees Celsius because when the volume is low, meaning density is high. If the density of water at 4 degrees is high, it will sink to the bottom. But the cold water, this one has got low density, high volume, low density, volume and density inversely proportional. Now, the ice cold water at 0 degrees or the cold water mixed with ice having a very high volume after expansion, it will have a very low density and therefore they will float. They will float on the surface of the water. This is ice cold water. Now this water will be having different layers at different temperatures. It can be zero, zero degrees here, one degrees here, two degrees Celsius, three degrees Celsius, like that, like that. Now, the application means when the water gets very cold until the upper surface turns into ice, the warm water at four degrees will sink to the bottom. And this will help aquatic animals like fish to survive even during cold seasons. But the problem is they always tend to reside at the deepest part of the water body. That is application. Now, one disadvantage from the abnormal anomalous expansion of water, we realize that whenever you put water <coughs> towards zero degrees, it will expand. This one causes cracking of bottles. Cracking of bottles. Why do I say it like this? Because when you when you turn the deep freezer to read a very low temperature of zero degrees and the soft drinks and water in the bottles inside that fridge will have cooled towards zero degrees. Remember, they will expand. When the liquid expands, remember the size of the bottle remains the same. So in that case, all the bottles in that fridge are likely to crack due to anomalous expansion of water. So that's it for anomalous expansion of water. Thank you.